Hi guys, Justin Lord from PaleoDietInABox.com. Now today what I want to show you is something that can help you to overcome those barriers with regards to not enough time to have breakfast, or not enough time to have a meal, or various situations like that to help you overcome. Now the best way you can get um, all nutrient dense foods into you as quickly as possible is to head for a power smoothie which is something that is heavily um, advocated by Paleo in a Box nutrition system and it's something that can actually be more beneficial and more nutrient dense than actually a standard meal. So what I'm going to do is take you through the various ingredients on how to build one of these smoothies. So if we take a look down here We've got, um, the first thing to ask yourself is, where are my alkaline vegetables coming from? Okay, so we've got, for this one, I've got kale, and we've got the dogs in the background there telling me, actually, I'd rather use spinach. But I've got kale here, we've got uh, some lovely alkaline uh, celery, and some cucumbers, heavily detoxifying, and we've also got these are all alkaline vegetables. So that's the first thing you need to ask yourself when you're building a smoothie. Where is my alkalinity coming from and where are my uh, green leafies coming from? So that would be the first thing you ask yourself. Secondly, where is my protein coming from? Now this is really, really simple to add to a smoothie. The easiest way, obviously, is with uh, some protein powder. Uh, now I've got whey here for this one, but like I said, we need to rotate our proteins as much as possible, so what I would suggest is that you get yourself some pea protein, hemp protein, or something like that, and use a different one each time and keep variety within it. You get a broad spectrum of amino acids that way. Now the third thing you need to ask yourself is, where is my fat coming from? Now today I'm going to use uh, chia seeds, and these are pre-soaked and more on seeds in an upcoming blog, but these are, just for now, these are pre-soaked high omega-3 fats, chia seeds with a, a huge amount of fiber. And also another fat that I'd like to add into mine, uh, one because of the flavor, and secondly, because it's a good fat with high energy producing uh, fat, is coconut oil. Um, and Fourthly, what I like to look at is, um, how am I going to flavor this? How can I increase the alkalinity of it? And where can I get antioxidants from? And here we are, we've got strawberries for the high antioxidant um, properties. All right, a low glycemic index food. All right, so that will add a lot of um, flavor to it. Also, what I like to use, which really spices up these smoothies, is frozen berries. Or if you can get frozen organic mixed berries, that is great because it gives it kind of that, that frozen milkshake kind of uh, feel to it and adds stacks and stacks of flavor. Also, flavor, I would add in lemons. One of the reasons is because of the alkalinity. And also, it just begins to transform that flavor from something that doesn't taste quite nice to something actually which tastes quite phenomenal. And also, how can I increase the alkalinity? Well, I can do this with something like Alkalive, which I use every day and all day. Uh, and just a scoop of that can massively boost the alkalinity of it and therefore improve performance. Take a look back at one of the blogs on uh, paleodietinabox.com and you'll see the added benefits of alkalinity with regards to performance and energy and reducing fatigue. So what we have here is a heavily balanced smoothie. Actually there's something I missed out and something I really like to add in is uh, almond butter. And the reason I add in almond butter, I'd normally prefer an organic one, but um, the reason I add this in is firstly because of flavour, secondly because of fat, and it's also uh, a um, more alkaline nut, all right, and it doesn't have the um, negative effects that peanut butter does have with regards to aflatoxin and things like that. So that's another one I like to add in. Lots and lots of flavour, good essential fats, and an added amount of protein. So. This is something that can be done very, very quickly in the morning. You will have the pre-soaked chia seeds. Powder you don't have to do anything with. I've also got some flax seeds here, which are pre-ground, which add the fibre and the essential fats. This one, straight out of a pot. This one, straight out of a pot. This one, straight out of a pot. This, you have to do a minimal amount for. Just cut the tops off, 
cut it up, cut it up. Kale comes predominantly uh, done for you. So it's a rapid meal that you can do very quickly. In the morning, or if you're an affiliate and you're, an, and you're at a box, you can have yourself a blender at the box with you. This isn't the type of blender I would generally use. I'd probably go for something like a Vitamix or a Kenwood smoothie to go, but for now this one will do. And you can have all of this stuff stored in your fridge, pre-done, and build a highly nutritious, nutrient-dense, alkaline meal that provides you with all of the energy and all of the fuel that you need to lose fat and cover the, the time constraints that you've got and also improve your performance. So here we're going to go. I'm going to throw this one together and we're going to see just how long this one takes. Okay, so first things first, in we go with the green stuff. Real simple, nice and quick. Sling all of that in. Okay, so I've got my tick in the box for my green stuff. My antioxidants, low glycemic index food, uh, fruit, straight into there. I'm going to add my alkalinity and the flavour from a lemon. I've got a nice quick squeezer here. In it goes. Nice and simple. I always find one or two lemons absolutely transform the alkalinity and the flavour of these smoothies. Then in we go with some fats and good fibre. See that is all gelatinous, pre-soaked. More on that in a later later blog. In with the protein element. In with some more fats from the flaxseed, pre-ground. In we go with my favourite almond butter. Give it a mix, mix it all up. It tends to separate a little bit. Nice big dollop of that one. Lovely. Let's have a quick look at that one. And let's boost the alkalinity. This one actually has some digestive enzymes in it as well. And I forgot to mention about the blending of the vegetables is that we don't have time to chew nowadays and we don't chew our food enough. What this does is takes place of some of the chewing of those vegetables improves the alkalinity because you can absorb it a lot more and breaks down the cellulose which is so difficult to break down in things like um, kale and stuff like that. So we've got everything in there. One ingredient that I've missed out is water. This will help to um, uh, boost the ability to mix it all. So sling that in the bottom there. That will help you to mix it all around. There's massive nutrient dense foods going on now. Give that a mix. Bit of a pulse there. Pulsing it helps to uh, mix it up better. Pulse it up there. And let's smooth it up. anything else like that you can add it in just blend that up like I said you might want to blend it for a little bit longer but there you have it a absolutely perfect alkaline meal with protein fats it's nutrient dense and it's quick you can absorb it quickly this is great something I use uh, pre wad uh, probably about an hour before maybe an hour and a half before um, it Provides me with the alkalinity, good flavour, good food, give me lots and lots of energy, living energy, megahertz of energy. This is living food, high water content food, and it enables me to be ready for the day and have something that is readily available and is quick and fits with the 21st century. This is something we, we really need to do and consider. So, I hope all of you out there will, will try this, uh, try it at least once. 
tinker with the flavours, but like I said, lots of these recipes are heavily contained within the Paleo in a Box system, so head over to the website there and take a look at the system, and I'll see you in the next vlog.